Okay, you guys, so Beyonce is getting ready to drop act two of her album series on March the 29th. So she's dropped two singles called Texas Hold'em and 16 Carriages. Now, both songs are doing well. 16 Carriages has reached number one on the iTunes charts, but Texas Hold'em is setting records for Beyonce. So first of all, it's reached number one on the Billboard Hot 100 after being out for only two weeks. And it's also earned Beyonce her highest debuting single of her entire career with the Hot 100. 100. And she also made history as the first black female artist to debut number one on the Hot 100 country song charts. And I'm not even done yet. She also earns the fastest song to sell over 500,000 units in the U.S. in 2024. And Beyonce's Texas Hold'em is the first solo female country song to reach number one on the Billboard Hot 100 since Dolly Parton's 9 to 5 in 1981. And last but not least, Beyonce makes history as the first black female artist to reach number one on the Hot 100 with a country song. Now this is not to be mistaken with her reaching number one on the country chart. So this song is a huge success for Beyonce, but fans are not happy, okay? They feel like she's kind of cheating because Beyonce is an already very successful established artist. And so with her having the success that she's already had and crossing over to another genre and being successful and taking over, they feel like she's not being fair. One person said, this is not fair to actual black country artists. She's only got that because she's Beyonce. You treat this woman like God and there's no way this song was supposed to go number one. They're just doing this to give her another accolade. Let's be serious. Honestly, that's not fair because K. Michelle was the first and only black woman that wanted to do country. Now Beyonce's doing it, she's number one. I don't care, the song ain't country. It's effed up cause there are actually real black country artists who deserve that. She's only got it cause she's Beyonce. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think that it's fair that Beyonce is crossing over the country? Now in my opinion, I don't think she should hold back because of her success to give other people a chance. I feel like if that's something that she's been wanting to do, why not do it? I mean, are you supposed to dim your light for other people? And I think with her being successful, let's not forget, She's worked over two decades to get to the level that she's on. So it's not like it was given to her. She has worked her butt off to get to that level. So again, I ask, are you supposed to dim your light and hold back to make other people comfortable? I think not, but I do wanna know what you guys feel about this. So leave your thoughts in the comments below, but moving on to the next story. Okay, you guys, so Cardi B has Barty Gang in a frenzy after she blacked out all her social media accounts. Now, now this is given the speculation that she could be dropping her album any day now. Now it's going on six years since Cardi B dropped the album and fans have been looking for this album for the longest, but Cardi B has been really afraid and dealing with anxiety regarding dropping another album because it's a lot of pressure for her. So hopefully she has gotten to the point to where she's ready because we've been ready, okay? We've been ready for a while. So I guess we'll wait and see what Cardi B is dropping, but I do wanna know what you guys feel about everything, so leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll talk to you later.